Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I hope everybody's had a good week and welcome to Take Charge of Your Health, week 10. This is talking about nutrition this week. Um, I can't believe that it's less than two weeks to Thanksgiving. The time has just flown by so fast. And last week I mentioned what a nice warm weather we've had. Well, we're back to our typical seasonal weather. <clears throat> the sun is shining, so that's a plus, but it is a lot colder than it was last weekend. But you know what? It is November, it is Maine, and it is expected. So it's perfectly fine. Um, we just enjoyed the nice warm weather while we had it, and it was really great. So now we're back to bundling up. So I hope everybody, like I said, has had a good week, and I want to welcome you to the class. Um, as you know, for the most part, nutrition is, um, I'm not sorry, nutrition was last week, immune boosting is the key to staying healthy. The more you do to build your body up, the better your body is going to be equipped to fight off any germs that come your way. Just like a car, when you go take the car to get it serviced on a regular basis, to get the oil changed, to get the plugs changed, to get the brake pads changed, um, that's about all I know about cars. But um, So just as you do with your vehicles, you do the same thing with your bodies. You need to keep it built up all the time so you can stay healthy, so you can fight these. Unless you like being sick and like being in bed, <clears throat> which I don't know anybody that likes to be sick. Um, it's key that you do as much as you can to build your immune system up. And I'm going to show you some ways that you can do that naturally. So I'm going to share my screen. So how to boost your immune system naturally. <clears throat> I'm going to share with you, <clears throat> excuse me, some um, foods that you can eat that will help to naturally boost your system. Now, the first one, um, as you know, uh, citrus fruits have a lot of vitamin C. So when people get sick, they get a cold, they tend to either increase their vitamin C or start on vitamin C. That's because it helps build your immune system. Vitamin C is thought to increase the production of white blood cells, which are key to fighting infections. Almost all citrus fruits are high in vitamin C. With such a variety to choose from, it's easy to add a squeeze of this vitamin to any meal through the fresh fruit or and essential oil. But if you use an essential oil, you need to make sure that it's pure and it has a supplement label on it because that'll tell you that it's safe for internal use. So using CPT and the best benefit. So the popular citrus fruits include grapefruit, oranges, clementines, tangerines, lemons, and lime. <clears throat> Now, because your body doesn't produce or store it, you need daily vitamin C for continued health. The recommended daily amount for most adults, I have it here, 75 milligrams for women and 90 milligrams for men. Now, um, all this information I'm going to give you on the fruits, I mean, on the foods, I have the link right here. It's from Healthline, so you can check it out, the information I'm giving you, and I want you to check it out. These classes I'm doing are just informational purposes only. I've done my research, I share my personal experiences with you, and then you can do your own research and make up your own mind what's best for you and your body because everybody's different and everybody reacts differently. I'm just here to share the information with you. And if you are interested in essential oils, I'm here to help and guide you in that direction too. So the next food is bell peppers. If you think citrus fruits have the most vitamin C of any fruit or vegetables, think again. Ounce for ounce, red bell peppers contain almost three times as much vitamin C as a Florida orange. They're also a rich source of beta carotene. Besides building your immune system, vitamin C may help you maintain healthy skin. Beta carotene, which your body converts into vitamin A, helps keep your eyes and skin healthy. Broccoli. Broccoli is supercharged with vitamins and minerals, packed with vitamin A, C, and E, as well as fiber and many other antioxidants. Broccoli is one of the healthiest vegetables you can put on your plate. <clears throat> the key to keeping the, its power intact is to cook it as little as possible, or better yet, not at all. So the more raw that you can eat these vegetables and is better off the benefits are going to be because research has shown that steaming is the best way to keep the nutrients in the food if you're not going to eat it raw if you want to cook it just steam it it's the best way so 
The next food is garlic. Garlic is found in almost every cuisine in the world. It adds a little zing to food and it's a must have for your health. Early civilizations recognize its value in fighting infections. Garlic may also slow down hardening of the arteries and there's weak evidence that it helps lower blood pressure. Garlic's immune boosting properties seem to come from a heavy concentration of sulfur containing compounds such as alkaline. <clears throat> Now the next one, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> the next one is ginger. Ginger is another ingredient many turn to after getting sick. Ginger may help decrease inflammation, which can help reduce a sore throat and inflammatory illnesses. Ginger may help with nausea as well. Ginger may also decrease chronic pain and might even possess cholesterol lowering properties. An easy way to get ginger into your daily regimen is to take it as an essential oil. And I take mine, um, ginger is one of my daily essential oils that I put into a veggie cap. There's several ways that you can use essential oils. And if you don't know how to use them, you can go back to my beginning class where I talk about um, the benefits and uses of and how to use essential oils. But I have like five or six different essential oils that um, two or three times a day, I make my own veggie cap and I just um, mix up the different oils I want to use. And ginger is actually one of the ones I take almost on a daily basis. So it's a great way to get it in your system and not have to worry about cooking it if you don't have it. Fresh ginger is great too, but if you don't have fresh, fresh ginger on hand, um, you have the ginger essential oils. Um, put that, you can either put it in water, you can put it under your tongue if you like the taste of it. You don't have to put it in a veggie cap, but as long as it has a supplement label on the outside, you know it's um, safe for internal use. It has great internal benefits for you. Hey, spinach. Spinach made our list not just because it's rich in vitamin C, it's also packed with numerous antioxidants and beta carotene, which may both increase the infection fighting ability of our immune system. Similar to broccoli, spinach is healthiest when it's cooked as little as possible so that it retains its nutrients. However, light cooking makes it easier to absorb the vitamin A and allows other nutrients to be released. If you don't like the taste of spinach, which a lot of people don't, a great way to eat it is to put it in your smoothie. You can't even taste it. And I can say that because that's what I do. Um, I'll take frozen spinach or fresh, whatever you have. Um, and I will put it in my, take a handful and crunch it up and I'll put it in my morning smoothie. I have almond milk and I'll take, um, fruit, two or three different kinds of frozen fruit, fresh fruit. If you have it, I'll put it in together and I will make myself a morning smoothie. And it's a great way to get your spinach in and you don't even know it. You can see the color because it will change color, but the taste, you won't taste it. All right. Almonds. When it comes to preventing and fighting colds. Vitamin E tends to take a backseat to vitamin C. However, this powerful antioxidant is key to a healthy immune system. It's a fat soluble vitamin, which means it requires the presence of fat to be absorbed properly. Nuts such as almonds are packed with a vitamin, vitamin and also healthy fats. Adults only need about 15 milligrams of vitamin E each day. A half a cup of serving of almonds, which is about 46 whole shelled almonds, provides around 100% of the recommended daily amount. Now, it, this doesn't include if you have roasted salted almonds. Even though you probably will get some benefits from it, the more basic in any food you eat, the more you can get to its original state, the healthier, the more benefits you're going to get. So eating raw almonds is going to be a lot healthier for you than eating um, roasted and salted almonds. Just a little tip. <clears throat> so the next one is sunflower. Sunflower seeds are full of nutrients, including phosphorus, magnesium, and vitamins B6 and E. Vitamin E is important in regulating and maintaining immune system functions. Other foods with high amounts of vitamin E include avocados and dark leafy greens, like we talked about spinach and kale. Sunflower seeds are also incredibly high in selenium. Just one ounce contains nearly half the selenium that the average adult needs daily. A variety of studies mostly performed on animals, have looked at its potential to combat vi viral infections such as swine flu. 
Now, turmeric. <clears throat> you may know turmeric as a key ingredient in many curries. This bright yellow bitter spice has also been used for years as an anti-inflammatory in treating both osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Shows that high concentrations of curcumin, which gives turmeric its distinctive color, can help decrease exercise-induced muscle damage. Curcumin has promise as an immune booster and an antiviral. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. doTERRA is the first to combine CPDG certified pure therapeutic grade turmeric essential oil and turmeric extract in a dual chamber capsule, creating a uniquely powerful synergy of tetumens and cucumeroids in order to maximize the effectiveness and benefits of both compounds for a healthy inflammatory response. Now the benefit to turmeric essential oil is a steam distilled from the turmeric roots of the cucuma longo plant. Turmeric essential oil encourages the body's healthy response to inflammation and oxidative stress and may support healthy cellular function. Turmeric essential oil has two unique chemical components, tetumerin and air tetumerin that have been shown to help the body with the absorption of curcumin, offering support to the body's natural defenses. These components make turmeric essential oil a daily staple. And the other part of this capsule is a turmeric extract. It may be one of the most effective nutritional supplement in existence because it contains cucumeroids that help the body fight free radicals and have a role in protecting against oxidative damage. An important benefit of turmeric extract is its ability to maintain a healthy inflammatory response at its molecular level. <coughs> Now, if you want to um, know more about this um, information, there is a link below. Now, according to Healthline, and there's the link there for where I got this information from, there are 10 proven health benefits of turmeric and curcumin, which both are in the doTERRA capsule that I just talked to you about. It has powerful medicinal properties as a natural and anti-inflammatory. It increases the antioxidant capacity of the body. Is linked to improve brain function and lower risk of brain diseases and lowers your risk of heart disease, can help prevent and perhaps even treat cancer, is useful in preventing and treating Alzheimer's disease. It's arthritis patients respond very well to curcumin supplements. Curcumin has incredible benefits against depression. It may help delay aging and fight aging related chronic diseases. So instead of taking two of them separately, you can take the doTERRA capsule and get it all in one capsule and it's time release. So it really works well. <clears throat> okay. Another food that's great for boosting your immune system is papaya. It's loaded with vitamin C. You can help double the daily recommended amount of vitamin C in a single medium fruit. Papayas also have a digestive enzyme called papain that has anti-inflammatory effects. Papaya have decent amounts of potassium, magnesium, and folate, all of which are beneficial to your overall health. The next one is kiwi. Like papayas, kiwis are naturally full of a ton of essential nutrients, including folate, potassium, vitamin K, and vitamin C. Vitamin C boosts the white blood cells to fight infection, while kiwis' other nutrients keep the rest of your body functioning properly. So that is the end of the foods that help boost your immune system. Now we're going to go to some other things that help boost the immune system, and one is sleep. A lack of sleep can affect your immune system. How many feel sick when they are overtired? That's me. Studies have shown that well-rested people develop stronger protection against illness. Not getting enough sleep can lead to higher levels of a stress hormone. It may also lead to more inflammation in your body. So for more information, you can also check out one of my previous classes on rest. I gave you more information on rest and sleep and different ways you can um, get the rest and different natural things that you can use. So I did do a class on that already. And I also have um, right here in the middle is a link that you can click on to give you more information on it. And here are some tips for getting better sleep. No eating or exercising four hours before going to bed because you don't want to build your, you don't want to get your body all worked up and excited and then try to relax and go to sleep. The, the two don't work. Um, say no to alcohol, caffeine, nicotine, and electronics at least one hour before going to bed. 
Keep your room cool, quiet, and dark to help relax. I know for me, I cannot sleep in a warm room because I, I just toss and turn on light. It has to be nice and cool, quiet, and dark. Walk down an hour before going to bed. Read, take a bath, enjoy a cup of tea. Now, if you are a bath taker, to get extra benefits from your bath, find an essential oil that works really good that you like lavender serenity roman chamomile there's all kinds of restful essential oils that i talked about in my previous class that what you can do is you can take some epsom salt mix two to four drops of essential oil in the epsom salt because that will help disperse it in the bath water a lot better and then you mix that together and then you pour it like maybe half a cup in your bath water and then relax and just enjoy your bath you don't have to use essential oils. It just gives you a little extra added benefits because you get the benefits from smelling the essential oil. Plus, you get the more relaxing, um, calming down to get ready for bed. So, like I said, I have the essential oils here. You can also put the essential oils in a diffuser when you go to bed. Um, put it on in your bedroom about a half hour before you go to sleep. So, your bedroom is nice and full of that smell when you go to bed. And here's another. Um, up at the bottom, there's another link that you can check it out. So getting your sleep is highly important for um, keeping your immune system built up because if you're tired and you're not getting your sleep night after night after night, your body can't fight off those germs that are going around. So immune boosting is not just about one component. It's about several. It's about nutrition. It's about sleep. It's about stress. It's about exercise. It's so the more you do for yourself, the better you're going to be building your immune system and the stronger you're going to be to fight off those germs that are out there. So another one is exercise. Getting enough exercise can help build your immune system and help fight infection. If you aren't used to exercising, start small and build yourself up. Exercise can also help you sleep better, which will help build up your immune system. Now, I've also did a video on exercise too. I did a class on it. So all these things I'm talking to you about today, I... I've done previous classes on that gives you more details. This is just an overall general class of different ways that you can build your immune system. But I go into detail with all of them in previous classes. So, so exercise is a great thing to do. And if you're in a cold climate and it's getting colder, and if you get snow and ice and rain and you don't want to get outside, find an exercise video on YouTube. I follow a daily um, walk at home video that i do that she they do like a one mile and they go all the way up to five miles you can do 15 minutes you can do an hour you can do a easy level you can do a hard level they have tons and tons of videos you can choose from so start at the level that you are at and then just build yourself up so sugar Reduce sugar and skip the artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners are so much worse for your health than sugar, but you need to limit your sugar because a lot of sugar is not healthy for you either. So eating or drinking too much sugar curbs immune system cells that attack bacteria. This effect lasts for at least a few hours after downing a couple of sugary drinks. So don't substitute sugar for artificial sweeteners. That's the worst thing you can do. They have been linked to headaches, waking, and even more serious conditions like heart disease and cancer. A 12-ounce can of Coke contains 9.3 seven, five teaspoons of sugar, which is more than the American Heart Association recommends an adult to get in an entire day. So drinking one 12 ounce can of soda, you are getting more sugar in your body than it's recommended for the whole day. And so there, this is a link that I have got this from, but you go on, do your own research, just type in sugar and health benefit, health, um, effects and you're going to find tons and tons and tons of information because artificial sweeteners no 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 that's really bad for your health number one number two limit your sugar so if you want to have a healthy body you want to build your immune system you don't want to get those bugs that going around um check out these tips all right stress everyone has some stress makes you more vulnerable to illness from colds to serious diseases. Chronic stress exposes your body to a steady stream of stress hormones that suppress the immune system. You may not be able to get rid of your stress, but you can get better at managing it. And here's some 
ways to manage stress. And I also did a class on stress too previously. Learn to relax and deep breathe. Now, as you're deep breathing, if you find yourself, you're panicking, you're stressing, you're overwhelmed, you just can't go another minute, take five minutes and do the deep breathing. It really works. And to add more benefit to it, if you have essential oil handy, find one that you like that will calm you down and if you don't haven't found one yet just play with them find just experiment until you find one that really responds to you trust me you'll know it when you find it and just take one or two drops and put it in your hand rub it to gapping you just put your hands over your nose and as you're inhaling inhale that essential oil for four or five seconds hold it for four or five seconds and then breathe out slowly four or five seconds do that for four or five times take five minutes and you'll be amazed at how you feel afterwards but you really have to take the time find a quiet place and nobody's going to interrupt you do some serious deep breathing holding and exhaling and then do it a few times and then walk away and trust me if you find the right oil just deep breathing alone will help adding the essential oils is just more benefit for you slow down and take time for yourself it's very important that you you cannot a body cannot go seven days a week 10 12 14 hours a day and not slow down and take time for yourself because you know what if you don't take care of your body your body is going to turn around and it's going to stick you in bed or the hospital because your body can only take so much before it will start to crash. So if you don't take care of your body, your body is going to respond in a way you're not going to like. So connect with other positive people. Exercise to blow off steam. Use natural herbs. Lavender, chamomile, ashwagandha is a great way to handle stress. And if you need to, find a trusty friend, counselor, um, co-worker, whoever that you trust that will listen to you. Uh, most places, if you jobs will offer some kind of a benefit that you can get free counseling for two or three sessions to help you, and that might be all you need. And if not, they can refer you elsewhere. But take time for yourself. Control your stress. Everybody has stress. And nowadays, everybody has too much stress. But if you don't take care of the stress in your body, your body is going to react negative to it, negatively to, and you're going to end up getting sick. Um, some people take a little longer than others, but guaranteed eventually if you don't stop and slow down, your body is going to respond. Laughing. Laughing is great for the soul. It's great medicine. It's so good for you. It curbs the level of stress hormones in your body and boosts the type of white blood cells that fight infection. In one study, men were told three days in advance that they were going to watch a funny movie. Their levels hormones dropped a lot and some babies have that laugh that you can't help but laugh with them and i so distinctly remember my nephew when he was younger he was about i don't know one and a half to maybe three years old he had this laugh that if i had the worst day ever and i saw this child and he started laughing the day just disappeared he just had the most amazing contagious relaxing laugh ever it's just one of those baby laughs that i don't care who you are you just are going to get you're just going to laugh because it's just so contagious so he helped me through a lot of rough days so now i'm going to talk to you about essential oils and immune boosting Pure CPTG essential oils work amazing for boosting your immune system. We know that when we take care of ourselves through diet and exercise, then our body systems receive what they need to take better care of. Unfortunately, the opposite is also true. When we don't eat well and exercise, we limit our body's capacity. It's a never ending cycle, especially when it comes to our immune system. The good news for us lies and additional options. Many different essential oils can help play a role in boosting and supporting your immune system. When we talk about the immune system, we are actually talking about a complicated network of organs and cells. Several organs and cells make up the immune system, including your lymph nodes, spleen, bone marrow, lymphocytes, which are white blood cells known as P and T cells, the thymus and leukocytes, another type of white blood cell. Each piece works together to defend and protect the body. Doterra has created an immune support kit that has all you need to support your immune system with the CPTG essential oil products. It's a three-month program that you can cancel at any time, and each month they send you something different to support your immune system. 
And for more information, I have put a link at the bottom if you're interested in um, looking into it more. But here are some of the things that are in the kit. You have the Breathe Essential Oil, which is a great respiratory blend. You have the Oregano Touch. Touch is a roll-on bottle that's already ready to use. You have the Copaiba, which is great for immune boosting and um, can relieve um, pain. On Guard Oil, On Guard Soft Gels. If you don't want to deal with the oil, you, they come in soft gels that you can just pop in and go. Uh, see, hand sanitizing mist is really great um, to have. It's just a little pocket size san um, hand sanitizer and you can use it in place of Purell. You can use it when you go into the store, if you um, are at work, if you ever want to hand sanitize your hands. It smells great and um, it works really quick and easy. So some other essential oils that are really good for boosting the immune system. I have a list here that you can go over. I don't need to read them all because you can perfectly read them. But there is a link up top that you can look at too to go for more information. But um, the On Guard is doTERRA's protective blend. It has cinnamon, clove, wild orange, eucalyptus, and rosemary in it. And it's great. I use it all winter long. I put it in my diffuser. If I feel like I'm coming down with something, I will make a veggie cap and I will take it. They have little beadlets. I can pop in my mouth when I'm at work so nobody has you know there's no smell at work I can just pop it in um, it's I they have the on guard cleaning um, concentrate that I put in my I make my own cleaning spray my all-purpose spray so I put some of that concentrate in a spray bottle add some water and I'm good to go I can clean my counters I can clean my kitchen I can clean my bathroom and then I add it to my water to clean my floors so I have it everywhere I have it in my cleaning um, spray bottle I have it cleaning my floors I have it diffusing so I'm building my immune system every day by using these products all the time and then if I still feel like I'm um, worn down whether because I didn't get enough sleep or I didn't eat I ate a little too much sugar or whatever the cause is then I start taking it internally to help build my immune system up so I can help fight it off and I tell you nine out of ten times if I catch any symptom I have whether it's a sore throat or I just don't feel good or I get a little running now anything I have I pick it in essential oils I start increasing the diffusing nine out of ten times I can kick it within a day or two and I and I don't even get sick I can get it right out of my system by just doing that but the longer you wait if you wait till oh it's just a little sore throat I can wait and then the next day you wake up and I'm going oh no it's really hit me and then you start taking the oils you still are going to get a benefit from it, but you're not, you're still, it's going to prolong you getting better because you waited that extra day. So the sooner you kick it in the butt, the better off you do. And another thing I do is I take a, um, echinacea tea. When I start getting sick, I do the echinacea tea and I do my oils and I tell you what, it works amazing. So here are some oils that are great for immune boosting. And I've already talked about the citrus oils at the beginning. So if you are new to essential oils, if you do not know how to use essential oils, um, this is just a quick three ways to use essential oil um, chart that you can just refer to. But like I mentioned earlier, I did do a class on why I use essential oils and I go into a lot more details. So you can go back and watch it. it was my first class that, that I did. But there's three ways that you can use essential oils. You can do topically, internally, and aromatically. And these are the three different ways and you can use them. So I want to thank you for joining me in my immune boosting class. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned something. Here is my information. If you want to contact me for anything, I'm more than happy to share with you what I know. If you want to know more about the CPDG essential oils, please contact me. If you don't already know somebody that um, uses the doTERRA essential oils, or if you have questions, I'd be happy to do that. I do post these videos on my YouTube channel. So instead of trying to scroll through my Facebook page to find a video, you can go right to my YouTube channel and all my videos are right there. So you can see all my classes that I've done before. I also send out weekly newsletters. So if you are interested in getting the weekly newsletter, please send me um, your email address somehow. The easiest, quickest way to do it if you want to is to go to my webpage. And right at the front, it says if you're interested in your newsletter, just put your name and your email address and it comes to me and then I add you to my list. That's the quickest, easiest way to get it to me. But you can do it however you want. But I'm here to help. I'm here to teach. I'm here to share with you what I've learned and what I've researched and what I've experienced. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen. 
So again, thank you for joining me. I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys have a great week and I will talk to you later.